the plan de loop develops advanced uh, positioning and uh, navigation technologies uh, based on uh, global navigation satellite systems and various types of self-contained sensors and radio frequency methods. These applications uh, range from aircraft navigation to pedestrian location and navigation. Our group has worked with military organizations, the automobile industry, the mobile telephone industry, and uh, various uh, sport organizations. Our team consists of professors, grad students, and postdocs. We collaborate with industry to incorporate our latest developments into new products. Our work has resulted in nearly a dozen patents in the area of positioning and navigation systems and signal processing. As a consequence also, we have received numerous awards for the excellence of our work, including two Johannes Kepler Awards from the Institute of Navigation, which are considered uh, the highest awards in the field of GNSS. So this is our navigation lab that contains uh, a lot of advanced pieces of equipment, and this includes a precision inertial system that uh, provides us with the ability to measure displacement and orientation, and a linear motion table that provides us with uh, the ability to study advanced motion under control condition. This piece of equipment logs RF data from multiple GNSS signals and systems simultaneously. We use the data to develop new receiver algorithms using our GSNRX software receiver. Another tool we use is this GNSS hardware simulator. It allows us to test hardware in the loop and repeat tests for any possible vehicle configuration. This is our GNSS antenna range connected to the nav lab below. These antennas collect satellite signals that are affected by the moisture content of the atmosphere. We exploit this fact to use GNSS receivers to measure atmospheric water vapor and we provide these observations to the meteorologists to improve their weather predictions. Studying the ionosphere and aurora also helps us learn more about severe space weather conditions affecting navigation in Canada. In the plan group, we're also working to improve road safety. Right now, we're driving in a vehicle containing sensors whose data is used to develop algorithms for cars to determine where obstacles are located on the road. Ultimately, this technology will become so advanced so as to allow the cars to drive themselves, something that was considered impossible only a few years ago. We developed solutions to improve personal navigation in the outdoors and in the indoors, where GNSS is only partly available. We use a combination of GNSS and self-contained sensors, as shown on our backpack, to test new methods and algorithms. Our technology is even used to train elite athletes. Our stealth sensor has been used successfully by our Canadian Alpine ski team to measure and improve their performance. There are hundreds of millions of wireless devices out there. That means the spectrum of satellite signal is crowded. So we are constantly improving our methods to prevent signal interference. It means we always have to be one step ahead of the game in a field that's evolving rapidly. The possibilities are endless. It's an exciting time for positioning and navigation technologies.